Welcome to the Value Invasion. I'm your host, Jake Honeycutt. This is our first episode. This is a web TV show about value investing. For this episode, we're going to do a segment I call 20-minute analysis. Every year I analyze hundreds of companies, and sometimes I'll spend days or weeks researching one company, but a lot of times I'll spend no more than 5, 10, 20 minutes. And what I'm doing is trying to learn as much as possible in a short period of time to sift through screen ideas, basically. So for this segment, I'm going to take a company that I haven't researched, at least not in a while, and I will find out as much as I can in 20 minutes and give you the results. Now sometimes I'll take my own ideas, but most of the time for the 20 minute analysis, I'm going to take your all's ideas. So send me an email at thinkfast at huncap.com and give me your stock ideas. I want you to send me three pieces of information in that email. I want you to send me a ticker symbol, that's one. I want you to send me a company name, that's two. And then the last one, number three, I want you to send me a few sentences about the company. And you know, it can be why you like the stock, it can be why you hate the company, it can be anything, just give us something to pique our interest, let us know why we should analyze this stock. So that email address again is thinkfast at huncap.com. So let's get started for the first episode. I want to do a company called Vistaprint that many of you have probably heard of. Uh, ticker symbol for Vistaprint is VPRT. So Vistaprint, most of you probably know, is a custom stationary company. Um, and their primary target audience, I would say, is uh, small business owners for the most part. The first thing I did with Vistaprint I went to Yahoo Finance, and this isn't always my first step, but I wanted to look at what the P-E ratio on this particular company was, and I found something interesting. The P-E ratio was 33x, um, but the forward P-E ratio was 13x, which immediately signals to me that um, the analysts on Wall Street that are examining the stocks foresee a lot of growth in earnings in the sometime in the near future. And so, I really want to examine whether this is a high growth company. So the first thing I'm going to look at to examine this high growth thesis, I want to look at revenue growth and got the numbers here. The revenue grew about 30% in 09 and 2010. That's very impressive, particularly in the financial crisis. Um, and then it's fallen a little bit since then, but still healthy growth. It's fallen to about 15% for the latest fiscal year. But if you check, um, if you read the latest quarterly statement, it looks like it's about down to 10% now. Reasonably healthy revenue growth, but I want to look at the income statement a bit further. And thing, first thing that caught my eye on the income statement is operating income. And that falls, um, the first year I'm looking at 93 million it falls all the way down to 46 million in the latest fiscal year. So that's a very precipitous decline over two years, and we want to look into why that was happening. So let's look at margins next. So this is the margin picture, and what I want to point out immediately, that this jumps out immediately to me, marketing expenses jump from 33.3% of revenues to 38.2% of revenues. And then tech expenses jumped from 11.5% of revenues to 14.1% of revenues. And remember, revenues are growing very rapidly. So for the marketing expenses to jump this much, um, that, that immediately catches my eye. It makes me wonder what's going on here. Is this a case where they're not getting enough repeat business and they're just continually having to market and market more to get more customers? So I want to take a look at cash flows real quick, and um, my measures might be a little bit confusing. You can take a look at um, the article to get a little bit more insight into this, but the, the number I focus on is that bottom one, which is uh, free cash flows excluding working capital changes and acquisitions. And that has fallen from about 110 million in 2011 to 33 million in 2013. So that's a pretty big dip as well. And that concerns me. So this is a 20 minute analysis. Um, so I have to do a very simple valuation. I prefer simple valuation models. But of course the downside is um, you can miss a lot on a simple valuation model. 
So what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a normalized cash flow. And this is tough because you saw our numbers were very volatile. Cash flows plunged. They could go back up quickly as well. It's all the same thing with operating income. Margins fell quickly. Those numbers could reverse. So this is a very difficult number to predict due to the volatility. But I came up with about 47 million and I rounded it up to 50 million for my normalized cash flow. Is this a total BS number? Maybe. It's the best I can do in 20 minutes. So I'm gonna use this as a basis um, and then in my valuation, I'm gonna assume a certain growth rate um, and I think um, the growth rate I assume was about 6% and I came up with a valuation of about 20 to $25. But I also found, um, and this is per share valuation by the $20 to $25, is a, the stock currently sells at about 50. So from my perspective, it looks significantly overvalued, but we have to note real quickly that um, this valuation model is very sensitive. So if I increase the growth rate just a few percentage points, the valuation could jump up to 40 or $50. So there are some flaws with this valuation model. So now it's time for the conclusions. And the big one here is Vistaprint stock looks overvalued. Uh, we have it at around 20 to $25. The market's priced at around 50. I think the market uh, has too aggressive growth expectations. It's not completely improbable that Vistaprint could get there, but it just seems unlikely. I think there's very little margin of safety in this one. So for that reason, we don't recommend buying the stock right now. So since we're only doing a 20 minute analysis, there's only so much we can research. And for that reason, I wanna throw in a degree of confidence as well in each of our analyses. And for this one, actually, I'm very confident on this one. I'm, I'm going to go about 75, 80% confidence that this stock is overvalued. How could we be wrong about our analysis? I think the biggest one is maybe we're underestimating growth or even more importantly, maybe we're underestimating the potential for Vistaprint to get its margins back up towards the 2011 levels. Uh, my valuation actually assumed a little bit of improvement in the margin picture, but uh, we still think the margins are they're going to be closer to the 2013 margins and the 2011 margins. And because of that, it's difficult for us to envision the stock being worth $50. All right, that's it for my, Vi my Vistaprint 20-minute analysis. Thanks for watching. Tune in some more. Um, if you have some stock ideas you want to send me, send them to thinkfast at huncap.com. Remember to send me ticker symbol, company name, and two to five sentences um, about the stock. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.